Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. You may ask yourself, why the fuck are you on this wall, Joey? In the Cliffs of Molotov, not where you're supposed to be. Uh, that, oh. That's because I was uh, trying to increase increase people's skills. And so I was looking at Mithra, I think it was. She's very nearly done. I need to go to kill Valt Ruffles. And that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to go and kill Valt Ruffles. Uh, but all I need to do is find out where they are. Which I don't know. That's a Grebel. It's not a Ruffle. I always forget what these things are supposed to look like. I think I'd remember. Nope. Gotta get those Ruffles on the go. Earth. Grant me strength. Do it. Leap me into the sky. Yes. Okay. I know. Hmm. I can't even remember what a Ruffle's supposed to look like. That's the problem. I'm basically just doing this so Mitha can get pretty much f full strength. That's an Ansel. Not quite what I'm looking for. That's Evil Eye Mambo, so that's not Champion Derek, who's on, who I'm going to need to find afterwards. Is he the level 100 guy? Up. If so, I won't be able to do that for a while, but it shouldn't matter. I'm just running along to see if I can see anything of, of note. Chris Martha is very small, so... Rebel... Rebel, Ruffle. Aha! Okay. Hello. Time to take you down. Wild side. I've also got to use some wind attacks, so that's why I've got Rock on my normal level one, where I'd usually have Mitha, of course. One thing I've noticed about Rock is that his skills took a long time to charge, but. Compared to a lot of other skills I use, they're actually quite powerful. Poppy Cutie Pie has also increased a little bit. That's what I've been doing. I've been doing vocal lessons over and over and over again, because you don't need to see that. And I've been uh, just trying to increase mostly Vex's blades. Yes. So I need to kill three of them. Which means the easiest thing I can think of is just to walk back down here every time. Well, so let's see. Is Champion Derek this guy? We're here. I'll follow you to the end. Huge if true. That's Gladiator of Iron. Okay. Different guy. Then it should actually be fine. And we're you. Let us go. Are we? Like Come here, you Waffle. Okay. I also upgraded Mithra a little bit. Not a lot, but a bit. I've mostly got to do cooking now, which I'll do in my own time as well. Cooking, and then I've got to do... Um, what else? Haroon's quite far away from being strong yet, but her trust's not high enough yet, so that's why. Windham. Just doing the smashes. That's a lot of damage. You should be smashing all the time. But I know that. I just gotta find a way to topple them more often. Because with this configuration, toppling is what becomes the hard part to do. Rock, I'm so glad we met. Rex, I'll do my best not to let what you down here? either. Hello. In my experience. That's one of the twelve brothers sister pod. 
I believe. Yeah, right, mate. Hi there. Hello, hello. Nay, you're very surprised and shocked to find cave-in. There was no cave-in last time Nay came here. It must have fallen down because of the ground going shaky-shake. Hmm. But Nay, you take advantage of searching area for linker honey. If bird if put linker honey into juice, it will surely become so tasty-tasty anyone who drink it faint from happy. But honey not easy to find. Meh, meh, meh. Is that linker honey friends have? Where friends find such precious thing? Let Tora explain. Oh, many make many sense. Nay, you're always looking in a completely different place, so never find any. Nay, you go get honey right away. Oh yes, now you have many brother ponds and sister ponds also hunting for juice ingredients. If friends meet them, not forget to say hello, hello. Maybe they need helping too. Bye bye now. Easy. One more. I think it's one more. Then I gotta find out where Who champion Derek is and fight him. Let us go. Whee! <sighs> This will be a walk in the park. It should just be me running around the area looking for him. It still shouldn't be that hard. I'm gonna check the boss fight area. Him with a death sign. Oh, I guess the move is called Deathwing. Do it to him. I could use Perun if I got to level 3. I'm not going to get to level 3, but I could do it. Bosh. See you later. Now I gotta fight the actual enemy of this zone. These guys are the real enemy. Everything else is child's play. These grebbles don't fuck about. Steam explosion. Updated OBS, so if everything sounds a bit weird, let me know. I'll fix it. It'll be wrong for the next like three hours of gameplay, but all the volume sliders look good. It looks like it's recording everything fine. How many ruffles did I have to kill? Four. Okay, one more then. Wahoo. I'm thinking that there might be here. Because I didn't find them on the walk over here. And we're you. Let us go. Up. Oh. Let's show them a thing. Come on, buddy. Remember what Vandam taught. Cyclone smash. I had some trouble with one of Perun's ones. It was kill a certain enemy, but the enemy type only appeared when there was an Aurora in the Theria, and Aurora's are quite there. It wasn't too hard to make happen. It was just, uh, I was looking for the enemy for ages and had to look up where they were, and then I realised, well, I didn't know that you could actually have weather-specific enemies. Pandemic break. Where'd he go? There you go. Let's do it. Final disaster. Bye. Mission complete. No, oh, I mean, look, it hit. Good. The last one hit. 
Fuck off. You guys ain't even worth the effort. Oh yeah, things I still haven't done yet. I haven't done the minor minor or tiger tiger stuff yet. So I haven't got enough ether to get all the level 5 mods that I want. Which I will get eventually. Just not right now. Um, I haven't been in the mood of while I've been upgrading everyone else. So I enjoy that more. I enjoy trying to upgrade everyone and make sure their skills are good. I just found the shiniest trinket. You want to see? Overclock and Ray of Punishment, level 4. And Reflection. There we go. Two more to get. My abilities have increased. This one's blade combos, which I can't do anything about besides fight. And defeat Crimson Derek at the Cliffs of Martha. Crimson Derek. Also, QT Pie was upgraded again. Fantastic news. The Phonic Axion. Defeat mechanical en enemies such as Day Jan Sovereigns in the land of Maratha. Uh, Public Cutie's favourite pouch items. Mechanical items and tree items. That should be easy to do. Okay. As for everyone else. Big power up. Poppy Cutie's nearly done. But we have to use Poppy Crushing Blow, which is level 2. So I need to use a level 2 fire spell. Okay. And then probably regular. I need to use specifically the favourite pouch item from instruments category. And favourite pouch item from drinks category. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Anyway, let's try and find where Crimson Derek is. Oh yeah, how's Rock doing by the way? Need to check that too. Learning feels good. Yeah, I need to use Deathwing more. Um, and then I need to do the life goes on uh, heart to heart which I can't do yet because I did well I could have done but I didn't want to do off camera that's why I didn't do it so let's go down here and fight champion Derek or crimson Derek sorry that's a big old lad It's not quite who I'm looking for, but he would fight me. If he felt it prudent. See, I don't know where the guy is. There he is. What happened? What do I need to do? Oh, there he is. Do it like I showed you and we'll that, mate. A. All right already. Uh, the wind's blowing away. So yeah, I didn't actually know either whether if I'd already fought it, it would count. It doesn't count, so I guess it's fine. I'll know for next time. But when it says kill a unique enemy. Just because I've already killed the unique enemy before doesn't mean anything. I'm just going to use one death ring, then I'm going to switch back to mid first, that's, that's better. Hit him with the ice wind. I found this cool thing I can do. Because recovery charge happens so often. I can just double spinning edge forever. And then do this. Even though I don't need to. And then switch to level 3. I, I could have done it if I had done it right. Unfortunately, it just raised my aggro quite a bit. Why not? 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 Why not?
It doesn't always work, but most of the time it does. There we go. Kill him now. Do it. Bang. I'm going to use level 1 fire so that she can use level 2 fire. That's better. And then one nuclear blast and we'll be all good. Kill them now. Burn out, topple. Do it. The final thing you need to do, Pyra. Just matter. Goodbye. Nicely done. Do you win hell? Right, that's why I punished for level five, done. My abilities have increased. And then perform a blade combo. Blade combo. Third stage. It's not going to be very hard. Just more death wings first. And then I've got to view the heart to heart. Uh, Raya. Uh, life goes on. So. Let's rest at the inn. And then watch life goes on. Well, so let's check on our Merc missions, see how they're getting on. Phew. I didn't do any Merc missions that I haven't already done. Let us go. Just so you're aware. Ooh! I, Another I maxed out person. Intermediate well, weaponry, level number two. That's the first time I've ever got one of them. You need my help? I will strive to do the other one better. And one fire mastery. No one else has focus, so I might as well just send Corbin because that is a character I'm not going to use very much. And leveling them up. It's pretty good. Alright, so 8 minutes, 33 minutes, and an hour. Got it. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, here. This is right. I'd like to take it easy, please. Thank you. Level 71? Yeah, Don't mind if I do. Stronger than before. Yeah, these guys are definitely going to get to level 72, I'm but... Than this, you know. much, much I'm not stronger. going up beyond Rex. Tora feels stronger. It is still much to learn. My incredible power knows no bounds. Nice. We're all over level 70 now. Perfection. Splendid. Rex, I have a favor to ask. Favor? Would you take me somewhere where you can get a few vol of Garfond and tell me about the place? Sure, no problem. A full view is what I meant to say. That might not have been what I said. Have a restful sleep. A full view. A full view. Garfond? Mm. <laughs> Let's do some diving. Should be easy to do. All of these early game checks are becoming easier, which is good. Because I used to hate doing them. I call oh, we. The power of water. For a moment there, I thought, what if I don't have enough fortitude? That'd be sad. Great view of the whole village for me, alright? Indeed. It's 
quite the vista. Such a fine village it is, too. Certainly no one is awash with luxury down there, but still, the people are remarkably happy. Even when life is hard, they keep smiling, keep looking forward. I think of it as the continuation of Van Damme's spirit. He may be gone, but his good deeds outlive him. Yes, it's a fine thought, knowing the man who built and protected this village was once my driver. Do you want to hear about Vandom, or do you wish you could stay here? Do you wish you could stay here? I wouldn't say that. After all, it's not like I have any memories of my time in this village. But I believe something lives on here. Something of Vandam and of myself. When I think about it, I can't help but get a tad sentimental. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like the village is full of memories. Memories of you, memories of Van Damme. I wonder how he and I used to spend our days. I think you probably both live pretty normal lives, really. Normal? That's right. Van Damme was the everyday sort, you know? I mean, he'd get up in the morning, see to the kids, then he'd just eat a big sausage sandwich. Evenings, he'd drink a beer and chat about what he's up to. Then he'd just get a bit sleepy and go to bed. I think that's what he was trying to build here. A place where people could just live normal lives. I think that's what both of you are always fighting for. Fighting for a normal life. Then perhaps even now, that normal life is what the people of this village hold most dear. Tell me, Rex, would you say Vandem was a kind person? Kind? Uh, I mean, he was straight up with everyone. Maybe even blunt sometimes. But he was a real gentle giant. He'd probably get mad at me for saying it, but I think he was a lot like a father. He's someone that I looked up to. Someone I'd like to be like someday. I can see you hold him in great regard, Rex. I only wish I could have met him myself. He did everything he could to protect us. I bet he's still watching over us from somewhere, even now. Well, in that case, I'd better make sure he always sees me at my best. Yeah, I reckon if we don't live up to his expectations, we'll be in for a right rollicking someday. Life goes on. Oh, why does this game make me sad so often? It's okay. Um, let's just get see. over it. Indeed. Let's, like, four more death wings. Perun. You have quite a lot more to do. Blade combos, extension icicle. Lund score box. Block attacks. Talk to Prune at coins in Letherium. View the heart heart. Indomitable will at Spirit Crucible Elpis. And use chivalry in Merc missions. Okay. Okay. Um. I think that's about it. I mean, I can do some of these. Nice one! The one that's 5,000 instead of the one that's, uh. Not bad, not. Instead of the one that's 6. Use dexterity. Fuck it, you can get more attack. Good work, puppy! Wow, wow! Wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That wraps that up nicely. As it should be. Just increase everyone's strength. They're nearly done. The eye of shining justice is throbbing. Please stop the saying eye of that. Shining justice. <laughs> I don't need to talk about how your your eye is throbbing. Your fucking snake eye, maybe. Okay, let's go. Let's see what other quests we've got. Talk to Prune at Fontsmyma Port in Araya. Okay. I got deep. And we're you. Now just. Is everyone here? If I may, I'd like to share my findings concerning the missing children. It sounds like you've been happy to cause something interesting, Perun. I believe so. Apparently, a similar incident has been taking place here in Fonsalimo as well. A number of children have been reported missing. 
I can't help but think this must be related to the Argentum case somehow. I don't like the sound of all this. Nor do I. This may be a more insidious case than we expected. There's an informant in this city by the name of Dareth. We should see what he has to offer first. Gotcha. Let's move. I know where he is. He's a peasy. Let's follow this quest. No. There we go. Good. Good. He's over the... Like, you jump off the ledge. And he's on the left-hand side. Let's go over here. So when are we getting this into the Chronicles 3, lads? I mean, I wouldn't be playing it until, like, 2020. It probably wouldn't come out until then. But even still, I wouldn't want to play it for a long time yet. It's another 200-ish hour RPG that I can't afford to spend because RPGs uh, are niche uh, content. Oh. And I'm kind of in a little bit of a crisis of faith when it regards to my channel and whether people actually want to watch anything I put out. But it's alright. You get over these things. I've got news. Is this not? But will you hear it? Great work. I guess it's not where you wanted me to be. That's fine. Jump me. Is my mate. Boy. Hello. Got any interest in the info? Friends ever wonder what Popono doing standing around here? Popo not just finding or Popono no. Popo no? God damn it. Not just indulging in delicious smells wafting from nearby restaurants. The truth is, actually that's probably not safe for me to disclose. Friends very skilled conversationalist. Almost let confidential information slip. Hmm. Okay. Gareth, my mans. Hello. So you're Gareth the Informant. That's my name and that's my trade. Yes, some information you're after. We're looking for any information you can provide about the incident with the disappearing children. Ah, that nasty little business. I've been looking into it already for some other clients, but it's bizarre how little information seems to be out there. It's got to the point where everyone thinks they've been spirited away by supernatural forces or something. So much as it pains me to admit it, I don't really have information on you on that front, sorry. Oh, I see. Sorry, did I just hear you talking about vanishing children? Yes, we were. Why? It's my daughter, Maka. She said she was going out to play, but she still hasn't come back. Can't seem to find any of the kids who were with her either. So they vanish into thin air. I was just worrying that this might have something to do with those scary spirits away. Do you know where your daughter went to play? I'm afraid I'm not sure where she could have gone exactly. Neither of the parents have been out looking for them. Maybe some of the others would know more than I do. In that case, we'd like to ask the other parents a few questions. Do you know where we can find them? Well, let's see. Lacey lives in the entertainment district, and Kalti lives in the commercial district. Oh, and Dapid should be somewhere around Greenith Paddies. It'd be easiest if you go and find them directly. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. And you don't worry, we will find your children without fail. Really? Yes, you just sit tight and wait for their safe return. Oh, thank you so much. Wish you the best of luck. First things first. Let's go find those other pairs and ask them for clues. Okay. We're looking for a kitty snatcher. Hmm. Hey, can I ask you about something? I haven't found a single clue that might help me find my daughter Romacca. I heard that incidents like this were on the rise lately, but I never thought it would happen to us. It kills me that there's nothing I can do now. I pray they're all safe. This is a worrying trend, you know. Something bad will happen to a kid in one part of a country. Right? And then within a week, another person will be taken or, or killed. In the case of like a serial killer. From a different part of the country, but not too far away. Like a week away or maybe... No, not a week away. I mean like an hour's drive away. And everyone's like, that's ah, fine. It won't happen to us. What? I'll be on like paranoid watch. Just keep them the fuck away from me. Hey, can I ask you about something? You're looking for the missing kids too, are you? I only just found this out myself, but someone heard they were going to play around Lake Varna. The place is much too dangerous for children, so I'm not sure I believe it myself, but you never do know. I just wish I knew where they are now. You don't think they're hurt, do you? They must be so hungry. Oh, it drives me crazy thinking about it. The rice paddies. I just like... I know this is slow. But I just like doing this every time. The wind is my mate. Leaping upwards and then jumping off again. Whee. Huh. Don't know what it is about that. It's just somewhat satisfying to me. 
You know that slippy slide down. Oh, wee. Okay, now. Let's go talk to the Vice Paddy Master. Get some Grom Vice. Nah, I'm, I don't need any more. It's drowning in Grom Vice. Fuck it. Maybe agriculture is part of specialist field. Fantastic news. Daffid, hello. Hey, can I ask you something? You know, Maka, helping out with the search, are you? Sorry, but I don't have anything new to tell you. I thought the kids were just going to play nearby like they usually do. Did they wander off too far, maybe? Even if they did, what happened to them out there? Monster attack, or are they just spirited away? Oh, why didn't I keep a closer eye on my daughter? Search for them in the area around Lake Varna. Okay. Let's just find out where Lake Varna is. Quite a ways away. We want to go like... That's towards Avaya, so we want to go like over here. Let's warp here. And we're you. Let us go. It brings us closer. Still quite a ways away. But closer. Is Lake Varna the lake at the top of the head? Like here, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Great success. And we're you. Let us go. See, so I remembered. I don't remember all the names of the places by heart, but it rang a bell. Little dinging one in the back of my head. Ding 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 ding. Go here, you bell end. Ding 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 ding. Okay. I'm going. Let me jump in here. We do the divey morph, and we'll go into the right place. Come hither, under the water. Look at Vox's bum. It's her well-defined, muscled ass cheeks. Sorry. I call on the power. It just, I just, it just stuck out to me like a sore thumb. But he can't dive, bless him. He doesn't know how. But I guess he can fly, so he should be okay just to flap his little wings over the gap. Those bags must give him too much lift. Is this where the kids are playing? I can't see anything around here that would count as a clue. No, nor can I. But the sheer lack of clues itself points to the possibility that someone has been deliberately erasing any evidence. Yeah, it does seem more likely it's a work of criminals rather than just being a monster attack. At any rate, let's keep looking. We might still find something. Help! The boy's been attacked by a monster. Let's go help him. This will be a Come here. Right yeah, why weren't you the cautious type? Nia. Bang. Boop, bat, boot, and boo. Boo, boo, run laser! Fly us! Why not? Kill him. Yeah! Kill him! With this This will be fine. You won't last long. Wings, my spot! Situation analysis. Cutie pie mode appropriate. Hello, kiddo. You alright? Yeah, thanks, nice lady. You're perfectly welcome. You seem to be Tantalese. How did you end up here? I just woke up here. I don't know how it happened. I was scared and I tried to make a run for it, but then that monster it. You just woke up here? I always thought that spiriting away stuff was just nonsense, but it's starting to sound more likely. It's too early to say for sure. At the moment, let's just head back to Phantom Mime and report it to Diana. Agreed. 
Doesn't seem likely, but there's always a chance this was one of the kids she's looking for. Okay. Back to Avaya then. I mean Fonsamima. You know what I mean. Garfont, Fonsamima, fucking everything going on all the time. It's too much shit. We're here. I'll follow you to the end. Yes. Hello, Diana. Um, who's that boy? We found him being attacked by a monster in Lake Mana where the kids apparently went. Do you recognize him at all? No, I don't have any Tantalese acquaintances. I see. Do you think this means the same thing's happening over in Tantal too? It's quite possible. And if so, that really is starting to sound like some kind of kidnapping incident rather than anything supernatural. You don't think my daughter may have been kidnapped and taken to a different country too? It seems quite likely. But what would someone do that for? I can't begin to imagine. At any rate, the boy is the only lead we currently have. Shall we take him home to Tantal and see what we can find there? Yes, let's see if we can find his parents in Theoswa. Are you going to take me home? You know where my mummy is? That's right, let's go and look for her together, shall we? Uh huh, thanks, nice lady. Perhaps learning more about this boy's situation will help us to find out what happened to the other children. Diana, I'm sorry, but could you wait a little longer? Of course, please, do whatever you must. If this is not an international incident, there's not much we can do here but wait and hope for good news. This is why you need special agencies to handle this sort of shit. You know, people whose only job it is is to gather information from every country in the world. It's a bit different in these times. It's not like telecommunications from what it seems like. There's not like mobile phones or anything, so it's, you can't just phone them up and be like, yo... But I'm getting around okay. And Titan ships, like, seemingly about a week at worst to get to anywhere in the world. So if you have informants posted, you can send telegraphs or uh, carrier pigeon or anything. you get messages eventually. What's this? Ooh, a treat fit for a hero. Snack time already, Nia? Spot anything interesting? Nice one, Nia. You sniffed out a pretty cushy place. You know, this was the great hero Adam's favorite food. They say it uses an authentic mix of spices passed down for 500 years. Tantal is pretty damn cold. Stands to reason that Adam would like food with a bit of kick to it, eh? Uh, kick? Adam was into spicy stuff. Hmm. Heroes have strange tastes. Rather rude, don't you think? Spicy food is delicious. Agreed. Don't tell me you're some kind of nabby pamby when it comes to heat. And what would be the problem with that? <laughs> For all your tough facade, you really are just a little kid, ain't you? Oh, you watch it, Shaled. You're asking for a fight. Hey, no need to get your ears ruffled. I'm going to get some for you, and you'll see how wrong you are. Mithra? You want some too? Uh... Huh? What's up? Um, well, you see, Adam didn't like spicy food either. What? Huh? Well, if she was there, he, she would know. Adam didn't actually like Adam's ember cakes. You got it. I never saw him eat anything that spicy. Even a hint of spice would have him running for the latrine. <laughs> So Adam had a little kid's tastes, too. You're kidding me. You can't tell me stories like that. I grew up idolizing Adam, and now I can't get that image out of my head. Hey, Mithra, do you have any other funny stories? Funny stories? I wonder if I can remember anything. So, like, what was Adam's real favorite food? Well, that would be pan-fried tartari. Just like Rex. Yeah. Adam would just light up at the sight of it. It really sounds like the great hero was just a big kid when it came to food. Anything else? Stop! Stop! I can't take any more! Can you please leave at least some of my admiration for him untainted? What do you care? Adam is just a guy like anyone else. Look who's a big kid now, Shaled. You are, Sneer. You're loving this, aren't you? Damn it. 
I'm going to have to reread Adam, the great hero, to scrub my mind. It's okay. Don't worry. Never meet your heroes, generally. Sometimes they live up to your expectations, but most of the time they aren't going to be the perfect version of whatever you think uh, they're going to uh. be. Because no one's perfect. Sornathia. Martel, thank goodness you're right. Mummy. Well, that's one family happily reunited. Yes, a smile on a child's face is always a wonderful sight. Thank you so much for bringing my boy back home. We only did what any upstanding individual would do. There's just one thing we'd like to ask. Do you remember anything at all about how he went missing? Yes, it was in the early morning. I had some business at the shops in Alma Square, so I brought him along with me. But when I took my eyes off him for a moment, he'd vanished. I'm so glad he came home safe. Hey, nice lady. Yes, what is it, my dear? Um, listen, I think I remembered something. Someone took me to Genbu Port and put me on a boat. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Then I had to drink something funny and I fell asleep, so I don't remember anything else. That's more than enough. Thank you. No problem. Genbu Port in the early morning. We should go and have a look. Hmm. The plot. It thickens like gravy. Okay. Uh, let's go to Genbu Port. It's early morning. Another hot hot. Don't mind if I do. Hey, Pandit. I just had a thought. Oh, no. Don't be so quick to judge. You don't even know what I'm going to say. Well, you're not the most sophisticated of thinkers. I can read you like a book. Hey, you can't talk to your driver like that. Go on, then. If I'm so easy to read, what am I thinking? You are that easy to read, and you just came up with a new title for yourself. Uh... <laughs> Bingo! You are so predictable. Go on then, what is it this time? I promise not to laugh. You can tell your big sis. Big sis? Wait a sec. What makes you think it'll be something to laugh at? Listen, when I tell you my new title, you're gonna be proper impressed. Zeke von Gembu, chaotic bringer of chaos. <laughs> Oi, I heard that. You can't deny the coolness of the name, surely? Of course not. It's very cool. Suits you down to a T. Super cool. You're not even pretending to be serious. Why don't you try again? <laughs> it's so funny watching you guys. Oh, hello, Pyro. You arrived at just the right time. We're getting nowhere with Pandoria. Pyro, lend us your judgment. Who, me? Yes, you. What do you think? Zeke von Gembu, chaotic bringer of chaos. That's a fantastic name. I love it. That's a fantastic name. Right, obviously. I knew you'd know what's what. No need to worry about hurting his feelings, Pyra. You can be honest. Being honest, I think it's a very creative name. Huh? No way! You're kidding, right? Finally, somebody who actually understands. At least someone does. I got your back, Zeke. Go on, Pyra. You need a title as well. Huh? Me? Yes, something that really captures the spirit of who you are. Steady on, my prince. Pyra doesn't want a stupid name. Okay, lay it on me, Zeke. Give me that title. Someone's gotten carried away. Right then. From now on, Pyra, you shall be... Pyra Von Aegis, Omen of Retribution. Pyra Von Aegis, Omen of Retribution? Uh, really, Pyra? If you don't like it, you should have just said so. I love it. To be honest, I don't really know what it's supposed to mean. But it's so cool. What on all rest is going on? These two are incorrigible. Right. Just like I thought, Pyra gets me. In fact, maybe you should just be my blade. Uh, I think I'm good, thanks. Huh? You're very amusing, Zeke. But drivers need to be a lot more than amusing. What? <laughs> You're going to need an ice arc for that burn. Was worth the wait. It's gonna take him some time to recover. 
What's in a name? I am Zeke von Gembu. Chaotic bringer of chaotic chaos. Chaotically. Uh, <laughs> anything that, you know, it just sounds like a Final Fantasy protagonist, so I just have to indulge him. It's fine. It's fine. He's a good lad. Oh, Dawn. Uh, what, you're saying Dawn isn't one in the morning? Crazy. Okay, here we go. What's the crack, lads? There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious going on here right now. Culprit always returned to scene of crime. We just watch and wait. Agreed. Let's keep our eyes open for anything untoward. I don't want to let go. Huh? What was that voice? Let's move. Well, somebody shut this burn up. Hurry up! You have to get out of here before someone comes. Don't lay a finger on those children. Crap! Have we busted? Leg it! Dosh! Little shit's got away! Who cares? Forget them! Help us! It's okay, child. We will keep you safe from now on. Cast off! Whoa! Don't think you can get away that easily. I've got many questions to ask you. Come here. We're fighting lads. Okay, bring it up. Coming for you. Blind spot. Wild side. Cyclone smash. You guys are fucked. Yeah. I could have done this 30 levels ago. There's no way you win. Raging Tiger. Ha! Sure. I'm fine. Spinning boy. That's what that that move sounds like to me. Uh oh. Where were you trying to take those children? Silence will not do you any good now. Where were you taking them? More I, Dane. We were told to bring children from nations around the world. Told to? Then there are more people involved in this. But of course, though, I think we could kidnap children from around the world on our own. Then let me rephrase my question. For what purpose were you abducting these children? No point in asking us that. We were just doing it for the payment our client offered. It's none of our business what they want with a bunch of brats. Wretched scum. Come on, we'll just have to head for a map. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, we'll just have to head for Port Anangam in more day and investigate there. Get information at Port Anangam. Anangam? Let's see. Ursula's local lesson 4 done again. Progress is always being made. Nothing. You sons of bitches. I'm basically just trying to get to level 5 now, so I don't have to worry about anything else. I think it's level 5 for the maximum that you need to get. So if I get to vocal lesson 5 and do that one time, then I should be good. Port and Angam. It's not that hard to say, but strangely my brain can't pass it. It's like, what? Okay. Ooh. Long journeys make Tora tired. Another side quest. A key. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's, oh, what am I going to do? I can't go and help him myself. Is something wrong? Oh, it's terrible. Bonano has gone flying. Are you alright? Nothing is alright. Everything's awful. Now, th now this I have to hear. Oh, right. I guess I should explain from the beginning. Well, I was living in Indor, see? Apparently Indor's done for, so we all tried to get ourselves on the first ship out of there. It's pretty crazy, actually. Is everyone from the refugee camp descending on the port all at once? 
Thankfully, I managed to get safely onto a ship, but then right up, when my friend Bruno tried to get on, kabam, the whole of Indol got whacked into the world tree, and Bruno, well, he went flying, clean off Indol, he went. Wow, that sucks. And now, if he fell in Cloudsea, well, he's had it, but if he landed on the tree itself, I've no idea if he's still alive, but I feel like you've got to do something. The tour on the job, problem solved in no time. Really? You'll help me look? Oh, please help find him for me. If he's alright, I think he'll be on the outer wall of the world tree, but if he finds the cloud sea, I guess there isn't really any hope. Please find my friend Bruno for me. World tree disaster. Great. Topple. Launch. Smash. <laughs> Sounds like a finishing move. Okay. Who would have predicted the world would come to this? But it's times like this, we all need to help each other out more than ever. That's why I came here. For some reason, the Imperial Army is willing to listen to what I have to say. I'm glad I could be of some help to everyone. We'll be alright here, I'll make sure of it. So you can focus on saving our West, eh? Hey. You're all mine. Don't okay. mind if I do. We need your help. Hey, why are you stealing my treasure? It's fucking, I'm the hero. Fuck you. See, I need it. Okay. Let's check for informations. All of the informations we can get. But hail. Hello. Lady Morvag, is there something you need? Just a little information, if you would. Have you seen a ship with children on board around these parts? No, I don't believe there are any ships of that nature here. Are you quite certain? Did you check the cargo? We conduct thorough checks on all ships that dock here. There should be no mistake. I see. My apologies for wasting your time. What could this mean? Did those crooks feed us false information? No. Perhaps we were the ones who led to conclusions. There's another port in Moradain that the old factory of Banner is constructing artificial blades. A ship would be able to dock there without subjecting itself to any checks. And a facility like that would be the perfect place for hiding the children. That has to be it. We have to save those kids as quickly as possible. Let's check out the factory. Okay. I'm going. We're saving these kids. Oh, it wants me to walk right next to it. Let's say here, and then we jump down. And we're you. Let us go. Give me those cloud sea sharks. Huh. Mm. Huh. It's a new day, everyone. I'm a That's easy. Don Chorus. Okay, here we go. It's not far from here. Ah, there seems to be some action here. Zoltz driver, you're not interested. Let's stake out. It's the children. So we found them about time. Come on, let's go and save them. No, wait one moment. Simply defeating these villains would not be difficult, but the children make things more complicated. If we take too long rescuing them, the crooks might use the children as hostages. We can't allow that. You're right, but that doesn't mean we can just stand around here. Agreed, so let's split into two teams. I'll play the decoy and draw off the enemy. While they're distracted, the rest of you can get the children to safety. Are you sure you can handle the decoy mission on your own? Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Perun, be careful, all right? Of course, I wish you the best of luck as well. Okay. Rescue the captured children. So I can't use Perun right now. That's fine. I wonder if the game would let me warp away right now with Perun in a state of unknown. Probably, right? I don't see why not. How do I get up there? Up here, I think. Yeah. No! Come here. We lost the upper hand. Great! Yes. 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 Wild side! Great. Cyclone smash! The the Are there two Challenge of you or just one? Jet 
Deathwing. Everyone's getting Do it. You guys are screwed. Sandstorm. When it says HP down evasion, does that mean I get evasion when I use it? I thought it meant use it when someone's evading and you can kill them with it. Anyone else find Poppy's final form distracting? No? Just me? Poppy does not understand, but Poppy feels very come cool out, in come this out. form. You feel very cool. Hmm. Me okay. Weird old guy was laughing a lot, saying something about dreams soon come true. It was very scary. Thanks for for rescuing. Me want to go home and eat lots of our gentle noodle soup. I got you, kid. You're safe. These bastards will die by my hand. Igna? Oh, oh no, it looked like Igna. No. It was blokes. The yes, There's more blokes. Do it now. More death uh, cyclones. Or death wing. Death wing? I don't fucking know. I mean, all I've got to do is remember one word, but I can't do it. We'll launch them. Or just kill them. It's fine. See you in a bit. Pull the muscle. That sucks when you pull the muscle. It's god awful. It hurts like a bitch. No one likes it. Okay. I've gotten quite good at that. I won't get you down. Just picking the right people for the mission. Here we go. End. All right, mate. Oh, I was so scared. These people said they were going to use us in experiments. They weren't going to stop until they got it to work. If no one came to help us, we'd all be. Th thanks for coming to save us, really. Hmm. This just gets better and better. Experimentation on children? That's uh, that's paddling. You can't be doing that. Don't mind me just going to look at this heart to heart real quick. Hey Tora, what's up? You look a little bit spaced out looking at the view like that. Oh, Rex Rex. Tora was just thinking about when they captured Dadapon. Right. I've come to think of it, this was the place where he had to create all those artificial blades. Dadapon always was a bit of a scaredy pond. Shy. Couldn't do bad thing even when needed to do bad thing. What happened to Dadapon was... Tora? How could they make him make so many rubbish blades? Tora cannot imagine how bitter it was for Dadapon. Huh? Hang on a moment, Tora. What is it, Rex Rex? I thought you were sad because your dad... I mean, your dad... He got captured. No, n not that. Dadapon happy whenever working. Dadapon love his work very much. Really? Really. Just look at Lila and Rosa. Dadapon's nopponality is written all over them. Ah, yeah, it really comes through. I guess personality would become nopponality. Hmm. But these new generic ones, no spirit, no verve. Maybe most important things for artificial blade. 
Something wrong, Rex Rex? Uh, no, just passion sure and high in your family. Why, of course. Spirit of adventure like air we breathe. What kind of person was Susu? What kind of person was Susu? Susu? My grampy pond? Poppy interested too. Tell us, Master Pond. Hmm. Honestly, Tora not remember much about Grampy Pond. Oh. Grampy Pond always locked away in lab all by self. Susu make lots of experiments and research? No. Usually look at photo books of blades. Hmm. Grampy Pond real stickler for appearance and mannerisms of creations. Grampy Pond really hung up on details. What kind of details, Tora? This not sound very scientific, Master Pond. Uh, on contrary, because of Grampy Pond's good looking, Poppy is blade she is today. Grampy Pond worked very hard to get style and poise just right. He had to perfect ether furnace to make his dreams real. Other detail Grampy Pond liked is self-destruct feature and hidden devices. Grampy Pond always hunched over plans, snickering to self. To little Tora, looked very much like crazy mad scientist. But I guess when he invented the ether furnace, his drive and passion paid off. There's a lot of talent in your family, Tora. No doubt about it. Pop is a walking testament to his genius. Poppy experiencing very complex emotion right now. Tora's tribe. Yes, your family are all perverts, but at the same time, they actually invented something that benefits everyone. So, good job, lads. You did it. Wait, is this on top of the top of the building? Ah, it's in the special thingy bob zone. The storage cupboard. No! What's the upper hand? Come here. This episode is going to go a bit over, but I want to finish this quest now, rather than later. There may be a cut somewhere in the video to fix the desync, it will inevitably happen. But it should be fine. No effect. Small fry. There we go. Alright, mate. You guys are so cool being up those bad guys like it's nothing. I want to be just like you guys when I grow up. Do you think the artificial blades those guys are talking about are really cool at fighting too? Wait. Banner, is this you again? You son of a bitch. Every time. Banner has fingers in many pies. I'm sure he does. Okay. Now I can engage. Shit. Hang on. What am I doing? There you go. Engage blades. Put Mithra at the top. Brock, pleased to meet you. Let's go. Wee. Then we've got to find out where this bit is. It's over here somewhere. Open. It's like Metroid doors. Metroid Prime had a good way of hiding loading by just not opening doors until the thing's loaded. Sometimes it was less obvious than others. Occasionally it was extremely obvious that the game was just trying to load something but couldn't. Looks like you're in the ground floor of this building. Well, not quite the ground floor, it seems like. There you go. Okay, time to take you down. Go get him, Rolling Rex. smash. Rex. No, you guys are screwed. You're like absolutely dead. Good on you. Why not? I feel like I, I, we've only been playing for an hour, but it feels like we've been playing for ages. Why not? 
Who just because I got a lot of stuff done? Relatively. Hey Maka, how are you? I thought this place seemed noisy all of a sudden. You here to rescue us? Don't worry, I'm alright. I was getting a bit worried with the kids with potential shrinking in number and those without going off somewhere. But I suppose everything will be alright now. Thank you very much. So I think that's the last kidnapped children, right? Let's hurry back and meet up with Perun. Perun! I'm coming! I'll save you! Da -da 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 -da. The artificial blade adjustment room is the, the big end zone. I believe. Where we fought Mikhail, uh, on, yeah, Mikhail and Pachuka. I don't remember people's names. Skibbity bop bop boo. Patroka. But Mikhail's like super dead. Well, it looks like he's super dead. <laughs> what a terrible shame. You went on quite the little rampage, but you can't keep this up while protecting the children now, can you? There's only so much one blade can do, my dear. <laughs> I can tell by looking at you that you're a pretty remarkable blade, aren't you? How about coming to work for me? If you take part in my great experiment, of course, I'll let the children go. Don't even start. Even that accursed Nopon managed to churn out a few artificial blades. So why can't I? I've ruminated over that for a long time, but upon seeing you, it hit me like a thunderbolt. Trying to augment children to create blades was quite the wrong way to go about it. But instead, if I were to start with a real blade, the plan is foolproof. I could create the greatest blade all rest has ever seen. A genius such as myself could never lose out to a no pawn. <laughs> This is heresy. I have no time for the ravings of a madman. What's that you say? Ha! I wouldn't be so rude if I were you. Acquiescing to my demands is the only way to assure the safety of those brats. For what? You think you can turn this situation around all on your lonesome? I would suggest you think very carefully before answering, my dear. <laughs> Miss! It's all right. I won't allow you to come to harm. There's nothing for it. You'll release all the children on the condition that I give myself up to you. But of course! I see you finally come to your senses. <laughs> that is quite an attractive proposal. <laughs> Do we have a deal? But did you really think I would trust a single word you say? There's no way you'd ever let anyone who knew your secret leave this place. After I gave myself up, you would no doubt dispose of the children. Those kids are relying on me to protect them from the likes of you. And that's exactly what I intend to do. <laughs> Dear Rude. Dear, you are a sharp one, aren't you? I'm starting to like you even more. However, all this back talk simply will not do. If you don't curb that smart aleck mouth of yours, everyone will suffer for it. After I've exterminated the runt, I'll experiment on you until you're nothing but a withered husk. I will never allow it. 
I will resist you with every fiber of my being until these children are safe. You poor fool. Why do you throw your life away so? The blades cannot truly die, can they? However, your memories can be erased forever, and is that not death in all but name? Even if this body is destroyed, even if I lose every last thing I hold dear, my will and my resolve will endure. What? Does that confuse you, heretic? This will of mine is undying. Even if you were to erase every trace of me from existence, you cannot escape justice. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! You know what? This is too much. A blade like you would be more trouble than it's worth. Kill every last one of them! What? Haroon, you need help? Apologies for our lateness. Not at all. You're just in time. Come, let us deal with these deviants. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Welcome back, Perun. Let's engage in jolly fighting of death attack. Kill them. Rips. Just what tricks? Maybe we're Double not spinning assassin. Of course, the mad professor isn't doing his own dirty work. Fucking coward. Don't worry. These guys will die real quick. Do it now. Oh, oh. I don't know why I pressed the button so, so early, but I pressed it. There we go, that's better. Now one's dead, it'd be a lot easier. Double spinning edge. Do it again. I'm just gonna kill all of the people you hold dear first, and then I'm gonna kill you, and it's gonna be great. Oh, recovery charge can work for oops. I thought any work to have double spinning edge. That's broken. This the ability to recharge moves is broken. It's stupidly too good. I can just combo into everything instantly. See ya. You're dead. If you didn't know already. Bye. To her. Curses! Curses! How can a mere blade stand in the way of my plans? Don't let it end here. I'll make you sorely regret the day you made an enemy of me. Oh! The port is right through there. He must mean to escape by ship. But well, isn't just like a villain. I'm not about to let him get away. Come here. I've got news, but we're overdue. You but I don't care. Nicely done. We're going again. Ooh! More than one mission's done. Fantastic. That should get me a spot on the team. Okay. I feel I can get Mizuchi, we're getting there. This isn't even nearly We're all getting there. Right. One more vocal lesson for. You need my help? Oh, I will strive me. to do the Everyone's utmost counting on whatever me. my role. I gotta step it up. I won't let you down. Okay, and then one more random mission. It doesn't matter who I send. 
Usually I do another two hour one. That uh, Gormot has some of. Weird water. Okay. And earth lads. I won't let you down. And then like wind you. lads. Send me wherever you want. What's the point of Haven't got keen eye, but that's okay. I'll apply myself fully. Right. Now take about an hour and a half. Sure. Let's go. What? Oh, did I? I did it. Oh I'll yes. With you. I will turn my dreams into reality. Cool. Ultimate oh, weaponry. An intermediate weaponry. We did it. S rank with Mithra. The first rare blade I've ever uh, S ranked. Apparently, you can go even higher than that if you raise affinity more. What in the sweet tits is this? To think that even Lindworm had a hand in this operation. He's trying to get away while this lot are holding us up. They're more skilled than the those we've faced so far. They've to stay focused. Leave it to me. Leave it to ascended mode. I'll take the breaks. All right, Be away. No effects. Oh, Don't forget. Yeah. Good rolling smash. Well done. Well done. Double spinning egg. One shot. Yeah. Smash. Yeah, these guys they literally stand no chance at all. If I get more than one rolling smash in a row, they're dead. Rolling smash is my big boy move, so that's why I'm using it so for, so uh, many times. I don't remember what S ranking does for me. I just think it increases like the damage modifier on everything by a bit. And you can get like S plus or SS and SSS and then it gets even stronger. I accidentally did it again, but it's okay. It won't matter. I should be able to get it back up again. See? That's silly. <laughs> That's absolutely stupid. Press B too quick again, but I'm trying to get through the, the fight now. Because I'm running into dangerously close to everything's going to uh, lag out in a minute. Double spinning edge? I mean, that's not the move I want to be using, really. I want to be using, uh... I want to be using... Rolling Smash. That's the big boy for Power move. Because that hurts a lot. Of course, I'm not always going to get to do it again, but... If I get to do it again even a little bit, then that's good. Bye. Right, next. The hind. The hind team. What's a Russian gunship doing in Elvest? Okay. Bye. Hit the death frame, please. There you go. The reason my uh, rolling smash tends to end quicker than um, double spinning edge is because I have two hits in double spinning edge, and either one of them can aggro or proc the move. Whereas only the one hit of Rolling Smash can pocket. You know what you don't want to use the move on? Anchor Shot. Literally no point. 
Alright. It can't be. I, I won't accept it. A genius like me defeated by those wretches. Puppy had luck at kidnapped Little Pond. All seems safe and fine. That's good to hear. The Odonian army will take care of transporting the children safely back to their families. So that just leave this man. What we do with him? I guess we can't exactly just abandon them here. Satisfying though it would be to strike him down where he stands. I suppose we would take him in to be judged by the proper authorities. I agree with Perun on this one. Let's hand him over to the Odonian army. Very well. Though I feel quite certain he will be sentenced to no less than 50 years of imprisonment. For 50 Oh no! Vex, thank you for allowing me to handle this whole affair. Don't thank me, I don't know what you'd, we'd have done without you. It's thanks to you that all the children are safe. If anything, I'm the one who's grateful to you. Everyone is. Your words are all the reward I could ask for. I will follow you with pride for as long as I live, my driver. Yes. Mission complete. Right. Okay, so next time... What I'm going to do is... World Tree Disaster. See you then. Goodbye.